Um, within 30 feet ish, right? So that'd be the time frame. Yeah, we'll say that. Anywhere um, on that. Uh, since I assume I ran the same direction, um, we'll go like here ish. Here? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be like behind here, like by a tree. So she gets in the woods and says, Ooh, you guys are good. And she grabs her robes. As soon as she got in the woods, she grabs her robes and just pulls them off to reveal leather armor. Okay. High quality leather armor, too. Like, from you guys' vantage point, she's like, Oh shit. I think we may have a. Underestimate. May have a little challenge. <laughs> and she has two daggers. That's on right. One of, one of the terms I set is that she can't kill us. So. Yeah. You, so you see that she she has four daggers total, two on each side, and is just slowly walking in, stopping, looking around. She grabs one of the daggers. Okay. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. Now she said that you guys gotta go first. So keep that in mind. Okay. Sure. She grabs one of the daggers and just chucks it in your general direction, Akita, and it lands okay. right at the tree right next to you. Shit. And she's going one. She grabs I ran away. I ran away. Well, yeah, but she grabs another dagger, throws it off to the other way, about here, two. Right I'm here. Gonna, I mean, I run away. Yeah, three. Okay. Four. And she counted it out like that. One, two, three, four. <laughs> this and should be I, fun. Oh, I want the, the, yeah, the finger. Give me the finger. Thank you. <laughs> there. Okay. So you get there. And she goes, aren't you guys ready? And she said, I threw my weapons away because you said no killing. Mm. Alright, so you guys Wait. get each one surprise attack. Wait. I like I like y'all out. Does that mean you want a fist fight? She goes, no, weapons are fine. I just wanted to make sure you guys see mine. <laughs> <laughs> like arrogantly, do you notice like the one that hit right by your head, the tree away, was of the curved design. And before you ran, you looked where she threw the other four. And they're all of the curve the same curvature. <laughs> she goes, I just wanted to make sure it was fair. Don't taunt me. So she's just going, like I said, you guys get the first strike. I'll win the next one. So you guys get to decide what you guys are doing mm-hmm. for the first round. Okay, so I'm going to move there. Okay. Knowing that she threw her weapons away. Um, I'm going to I'm going to shoot with the longbow and then move to another and then like move to another tree one. You're going to shoot her with the longbow? Yeah. Okay, roll the hit. <sighs> so, as you shot the longbow, you're like, my aim is true. It comes right at her and she grabs it. Looks at you and just throws the arrow right back in your direction. As you're running away. Yeah, just to another to another tree to conceal, to conceal my location. Okay, choose which spot. Um, let's go. The other one. Huh? You're the other one. I'm the black one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't make that line up there. Um, gonna gonna go right here. Okay. And she goes, "All right, is that all you got?" I want to charge in, and I'm gonna throw my daggers down. Okay. 
and try to like fist fight her. So as as you throw the daggers and you get close enough to fist fight her, you swing, roll the punch. So roll a strength. Just hit strength and roll that. Oh. You so so you go to punch. She grabs your fist and just punches you right in the side. So, let's see here. I'll roll mine here in a sec. Give me one second. Yeah. Is that damage is fine, no killing. That was the terms. Oh. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> All right. So she 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 pulled her punch, of course, because you said no killing. She hits you and she goes, you're down. Make a constitution saving throw. God bless it. As you <laughs> felt like her punch had more oomph to it than you thought, and you feel your body starting to lock up, and then you're like, ugh, and you like break free. And you're like, oh, this person uh, has more to him than I thought. <laughs> yep. And then she goes in for her second attack. Okay. Does that hit? Oh yeah, of course it does. <laughs> Ooh, damn. I think that hits everybody twice. <laughs> right. Now if that goes over your your hit point max, you know your hit points, what you have left, just go down to one. Yep, I'm down to five. Okay, make another con saving throw. Mm. That one does not save. Oh. oh. That doesn't save? No. As, <laughs> as, as she strikes you, your body locks up and she whispers in the air, stunning strike. Oh, shit. And it looks right over at Larissa. And says, you're next. Let's do this. And vanishes. Like, she was here a second ago. And then she disappears. Where did she go, George? Right here. I'm not knocked out. Like, look no. around for her. Yeah, you you would hear it, and, and you 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 utter it, and but you just can't move. So, let's see here. Uh, oh. oh God, damn it! <laughs> Monks are broken. Monks are fucking broken. So does that hit? <laughs> No, yeah. No, what you, absolutely. What, what it rolled on the die, <laughs> met it. Eight points, make a constitution saving throw. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I have no bonuses in time. Oh, that is good. I am you walk up and she goes, I told you I'd win. Like, too slow. <laughs> and as she puts her hand out, the daggers. Sling right back to her hand. Yeah, they have the the returnability that somebody had in one of the one shots. Hi. <laughs> and yeah, that that was that was with my I, was with my chocolate with my baby lady. Do I do I see what happened over there? Yeah, you 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 see it. She let the she dropped it. Okay, I'm I'm like panting I, like you win. Yep. I assume, since, I assume since I was on a tree limb and I was locked up, I assume I just fell to the ground. Yeah. Like, Andrew, wee, wee, plop. Hey, Andrew has his hand up. No, I don't. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. I got it on the air condition. <laughs> okay. But she goes, when you guys get stronger, come find me. I will teach you how to use these. And she drops two of the daggers down. And she goes, okay, guys, pack up. Leave their stuff here, Joseph and Robert. And they pack up and they they walk away. Oh, I'm, I'm oh, sorry. By the way, and she drops a sack of, she drops a sack right there. And she goes, that was fun. I haven't had fun like that in years. <laughs> I'm, I'm like panting and like, I look, I look forward to it. <laughs> I'm like wincing because like the hit. 
<laughs> so I start gathering some of our stuff that they left. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So you get two daggers because you let them for you. Like, okay. just dropped them and just walked away. One for each of us, or? Just two. There's just two of them. So you guys can figure out who would, you know, I mean, what goes I where. Mean, I mean, the rogues Not me. probably have the daggers, but. I don't need another weapon. I got four. I, I mean, I do, because, like, I have the, uh, I have the, uh, oh, God, the orphan maker, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, want, I want another one. I just have my short sword in Lombo. <laughs> So, you you don't know what they are. You don't know what they do. You just know they're daggers and they're special. <laughs> and they return to you if you know how to use them. That's all you know about them right now. Unknown return, daggers. Return daggers right now. Or unknown daggers, like I did with the mace. Well, no, that, that mace is different than... Uh, these ones, she knows they return. There's more to them. But right now, all that... She can tell is they have the ability to return. Yep. Got them in my notes. All right. Because <laughs> I have notes now because professional. <laughs> yes. Hashtag professional. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you guys easily get your stuff. Do you guys grab the sack of, you know, the sack you left for you guys? Um, that I don't know about. No, you've seen, she, you've seen her drop it. I went near him. You don't have to be near to see something. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I had a like, mythical tree or a mythical rock blocking my view. <laughs> no, she would have walked backwards, like towards you to tell them to, you know, to pack up and everything. So you would have seen the, the bag drop through your mystical rock. <laughs> okay, so after being full of myself and. Moving towards the next town. <laughs> Aw, Michael, hashtag professional. Oh, shit. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, upon opening the goal, you know, the, the pack, you see it is full of gold. Okay. About 500 gold pieces worth. Divided okay. between three, actually, you know. Wait, Yenro, you didn't participate in this. Fuck you. <laughs> you didn't do shit. Hey, I made sure the two idiots didn't take off with our stuff. They were already pacified. Yeah, they still could have taken something. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I, I hand him his half. Just give me 50. Call it good. Okay. So 450 divided by... Two. It'd be 225. <laughs> 225? See, mm -hmm. I made it simpler for you. <laughs> I'm at 299. <laughs> okay. So, after that... God, I hate you, Yenro. <laughs> after that, you guys easily... Make it back to the trail you guys were at. Okay. Your horse is gone, unfortunately. Yeah, of course. Oh, you guys can see if they left, you know, see if the horse was brought over this way. Like, like look on the, on the way back. Yeah, on the way back to your camp. Sounds Marissa? like a good idea. Yes. I'm just saying you guys can. You don't have to. I'm just saying you guys no. can look for it. Uh, you want to see where the horse went, or do we hoof it? Um, I'll try and see where the horse went. Okay. Yeah, so so you guys get back to your horse. camp, and then you guys look for the horse tracks. No. Oh. So, after all the tracking that Akita did to look for everything to see if she, Yeah, these tracks are obliterated. Fuck. The horse right. is gone. But you guys can hoof it the, the last hour and a half to do uh -huh. I guess okay. we're hoofing it. I mean, you guys were traveling pretty light as it was, so. Yeah. yeah. That was just nice to have. Yep. Okay. Especially since the village we came from, so. 
it's it's nice to have it but at this point it's like not needed yes it is really not needed so you guys get to the town now about the the city mm -hmm. you guys get there and you notice it is almost in ruins people are walking from you know makeshift buildings back and forth but you're noticing that you know you guys walk in you guys stroll for about 10 20 minutes just strolling you know trying to figure out where the the that tavern place is that they you know steve told you about because he told you to go talk to the you know the guy that owns the tavern uh, you know in the next city over so you guys walking around about 20 minutes, and you notice that as Clem is walking, the general atmosphere that the people are holding them completely changed from one end of the town to the next. Okay. On one side, it felt like a normal, normal town, just run down. Now, this one, the people are more hustled and trying to get their stuff done. And get back inside. Even the guards have slightly changed the way they hold themselves and the colors they wear. As when you walked in, it was a a blue. It was blue, right? Yeah, a blue flame style emblem. Because you walked past it, so. And now it is a copper color. And as as they get near somebody, these guards, they these people make sure they get out of the way. As like the other town where the people walked right along the guards and were actually holding conversations with them. I, I try to stop one of the bronze like guards. One of the copper people? Okay. Yeah. You you grab them and you stop he looks at you. No, not grab, but like. Well, I know, but when you physically touch him to stop him to ask him what's going on, he quickly turns around, pulls a spear out, and says, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Whoa!" Like, I just wanted to know what's going on. Nothing is going on. What do you mean? Everyone's no, frantic. No, nothing is going on. Because if nothing was going on, you would be running frantically around. And I personally... And, and, and the guards weren't the ones running frantically around. It was the individual, the, like the normal town folk. Hey, fuckers! Oh. Hey! Hi, Amber. <laughs> Hi, Amber. Hi. Jasmine's here. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Jasmine. Hi, what's going on? Hi. Welcome to the stream. Hi. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> um, I'm Text trying to sister. interrogate a guard slash townspeople. Yep. Oh, I know what okay, so whoever whoever had like the copper, like whoever yeah. I stopped, I'm like gonna try and persuade them and talk them down to try and tell me what what's going on. Okay. Uh, I'm taking that. Oh, fuck. So, as, as you're trying to hold this conversation, you hear from behind, just let them go. They're innocent townsfolk, probably from the town across the way. And you turn around, you know, like, slowly, because you're still at spear point. You notice it was one of the blue flame guards. <coughs> and they're yelling at one, the, the copper guard. And it, as you can now, they've totally ignored you. The spear's up. Yeah. And they're just arguing back and forth. You can tell that there's a division here. Yep. I saw it. My hand's up. Yep. Uh, I'm not going to get stabbed for no reason. So. And, and, and you hear the blue flame one saying, just come back over this way. Just cross the line over here. Just leave that section. They're like, no. They walked in our side of the town. They get to stay here. And like you can tell like these people are just more bickering back and forth. <laughs> okay. You two want to try anything else? Mm -mm. I just turn okay. around and start walking to the other side. Oh. So as you turn around, one of the copper, one of the other copper guards is going, "No, you stay right there, sir." No, I don't. 
and one of the blue flames to go. Just, just let him go. It's not worth a fight. And you can tell, like, the way the blues are holding themselves from the coppers is the blues are just so fed up with whatever's going on. They're just like, just stop. <laughs> um. So can I like? Can I like find like an alleyway or like a like yeah, a barrel or something to hide behind? Yeah. So yeah, roll roll perception and so as as they're arguing back and forth, one of the blue flame people walk over and like get right in front of those guards and say they're coming back to our side. And he's like handing you guys, like motioning you guys away. As Robin takes off, well, Akita takes off an alleyway. And they go, fine, fine. And all of a sudden, just like, really, like, yeah, fine, fine, fine. Go. It's like, all of a sudden, it was like, attitude change. <laughs> and so they, they, so Larissa and Yenro get escorted or back across by the Blue Flames. And they go to explain to you too because they didn't see the other ones slip away. That there's actually a feud going right now. This town is split into thirds between the Copper Guard, who is controlled by Ty Tyrangel, a Copper Dragon, and Copper Dragon, yeah. <laughs> And Kelemvar, ver, I don't know exactly how to. It's spelled K E L E M V O R. And goes to explain the whole situation that this feud's been going on forever. Ever since the town, after the spell plot, um, the spell plague happened, this town has been ravaged. And so we don't generally let people cross the line, but you guys weren't causing problems. So we just let you guys leave. Just do what you guys were here to do. So I'm just, just don't go across that. And you can tell like there was an actual like border with two different flags right next to each other. <laughs> the symbol, you know, just way people don't cross that line unless they want to deal with it. Now, back to Akita. Who stealthed away and did not hear any of that? Yep. <laughs> yep. As you turn the corner. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Do I have. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I do. But I'll just move these plays off to the side here. Okay. I do. So I'll put it that one. You. There we go. You see, so as you're running down, as you're walking down this alleyway right here. Okay. Because the dividing point's right where the other two figures are, up here, you know, your friends. As you're heading away this way, heading down, you get right around the corner. That was just for a visual aid, this way you know. Yeah, sorry. No, it's okay. okay. You are... Stopped by five copper guards. Shit. And they go, we saw you leave. <laughs> and, and they go, hey, come around the corner. And surely enough, around the corner, you see the three that were, the, the few that stopped you, while we're talking to you, come around the corner. <laughs> and they're going, now, we have a problem. You came here and proceeded to cause issues. Now you never did, obviously. Yeah. Then you were like, and so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, basically. Yeah, basically, <laughs> this campaign going. The heck. <laughs> <laughs> so they they proceeded to tell you how you caused issues. Okay. And now that they have an issue with the blue flames again, they're going to take it out on you. As now they're all prepping their blades. 
Um, um, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, please. Please. I just wanted to know what was going on here. As you hear, as you like, uh, uh, you know, defending yourself, you hear footsteps from the rooftops all of a sudden. Okay. And then you hear the horns, loud, obnoxious, blood curdling, guttural horns. As yeah, like yeah, as six figures appear out of nowhere <clears throat> and proceed to attack the copper guard. Oh, what do you do in that instance? Wait, so they jump down through from the roof? The, the roof, and you can tell that these people are almost like the lady you just fought and are just punching, and these guards are slicing in. It is just a fuck mess up in this shit. Wait, are they, like, brutalizing them? Oh, they are beating the shit out of these guards. Uh... I'm talking about, like, really beating the crap out of them. <laughs> Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. I mean, they're not hitting me, so, like, I'm just, like, backing out. So after, like, backing up, <clears throat> to the people that were right behind you, and you hear one of them say, stay put, we'll deal with you in a second. And it was one of the new people, that, not one of the guards you heard previously. And yeah. you're, just, making, you know, you're, you're keeping your eyes straight, and you just see these people ravage the guards in front of you. Oh, God. Yeah, just melee ba bash them. <laughs> in. Okay. And behind you, 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 you feel a gentle hand on your shoulder. Okay. And you hear a woman say, "You're you're able to turn around now. Are you okay?" Um, I don't trust you. Well, that that's smart. I don't know you, and I, you, you know you don't know me, so we <laughs> shouldn't trust each other that easy. For all I know, you have a dagger in my back. Turn around. And her hand releases your shoulder. You know this way. You know you can turn around. And you see all them behind you with their hands up, going, "See, unarmed." Who are you? We are the followers of Kelmavar. Hey, I said it! Kelmavar! <laughs> hey. You just had to be in the moment to say it. Pretty much. <laughs> What's it called? Kelmavar? Kelmavar. It's spelled K-E-L-E-M-V-O-R. Kelmavar. Yep. Kind of weird. Okay. A little bit. And if you follow us, we'll quickly get you to our side of the town. But you'll be how, safe. How do I know I can trust you? <clears throat> we just saved you from being bru bru brutally murdered. And she's like looking around, showing you these guards that they beat the shit out of. <laughs> I mean, fair. Is a. Is a. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Larissa and, uh, Larissa and Yenro, are they within the range? No, they are gone. Okay. And um, they, they, she goes like this. Your friends were taken by the blue flames. We don't know why. We don't know what's going on over there. Uh, over there. Of course we were. <laughs> well, you guys were escorted back to the other side of the, the place. These people were more keeping an eye on the road that went away. That the the guards that were around the corner kept an eye on and proceeded to cut off. Yep. I have a hand on my dagger and I'll say like I trust you for now. And she goes, Good enough. Do you know how to climb walls? Of course they do. And they, you see them do like this really cool Jackie Chan Jet Li move and just go ping 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 all the way to the top. Can you do that and keep up? Yes. Do of it. course I can. Roll me at acrobatics. <laughs> parkour, parkour. Fuck yeah. Yeah, you, 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 it's a little slippery. They made it look easy. You, you try to like do little flourishes in the middle of it just to show off your awesome moves. And you, you get one foot and it actually goes into the building a little bit more than usual. <laughs> but you catch yourself. You're like, yeah, I meant to do that. And you get up to the top. She goes, smooth. Smooth. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't too bad for a newbie, right? No, 
All right, now follow us. And do you see them like jumping from building to building, building to building quickly? Parkour. Roll me another acrobatic. <laughs> With advantage because you are getting help. Advantage? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Damn. <laughs> with their help, these monks are like keeping you, you know, making sure you stay in line. This way, you know where to land, and you get across. And you notice, like, when you cross these houses, you see along the wall, all along the uh, alleyways, there are flags <sighs> hiding one half of the city. And when you cross up to their section, you notice it was a different color. Okay. That was selected. So. As as we're walking, like, or as we're like parkouring, basically, I'm like, I'm like, where are they taking my friend? They are probably <laughs> escorting them away because the copper fuckers, they like to kill and then ask questions. That's why the townsfolk tend to hide. Hey, do your fucking job. The the blue people, we don't know what they do. We just leave them alone. They don't mess with us. <laughs> I, I I stop like well not stop but like slow down a bit. Yeah. And uh, and being like we have to save them. I'm sure they're probably up at the fucking brothel getting served. Brothel. And 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 as you're jumping, they get to their section of the town, and you notice their color is a purple. Ooh, pretty. Like the, the okay. flags are purple. This way they know where the dividing points are. Sure. And as you jump off one of the, the last house to cross over, you hear a band playing and a lot of giddy laughing and just general uptidy, you know, not what you would normally see in this type of town. Sure. So seen from the rooftops. <laughs> and they go, we seriously just hopped over the brothel, and it is right in the middle of all three cuts. Oh, fuck. It is a neutral ground where anyone can go if they need to relieve stress, eat, and have lodging. Welcome to Midgar Wall City. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Basically. <laughs> But yeah, so they land, and they go, okay. okay. Then they tell you how the, you know, the, the city is divided into thirds. Okay. It was divided down the middle between the two. Why did, the blues why did came it over divided to, into thirds? Because the blues came around to try to distill more order. And we, don't, we can go to their section and be fine. We don't cause problems. We go do our trading that we need to trade. And that's okay. it. We all stay in our own sections, except for the copper fuckers. Like, you can tell, like, the blue are really, like, the neutrality place. Sure. I mean, as you've seen, they were trying to disarm this fight with no violence. As for, like, the copper, who are more aggressive. Sure. I and, that. yeah, so, you are free to go, and she, she instantly puts her hands up, looks at you, you're free to go. I told you with a probably hat, but I just want to give you a heads up that don't go back over there. But I have to get my friends. Then probably head to the brothel. It's probably your best bet. Okay. Can you? Okay, go ahead. Can buddy. you? Can you tell me where I can supply up, and then I'll make my way over there. Um, our shops are actually none of your taste. Try me. We punch things with hands. We don't do weapons. I mean, I'm a fair game. But you'd like... You just, if you head to the blue section, they have a better market than we do. Shit. That's where we do most of our trading anyway. But we're more barbaric. Kinda. And this lady, you can tell, like, scars across the face. and She looks like she scrapped a few times. And they live on like, the rougher side of town. And not as nice as the blue section. Like you can tell like the blue section's the nicest part. Okay. I'll find my own way. Stop and she goes, if you go right down the street, take a left, head down, and then hang the third right, 
You should be at the brothel. If not, you can ask somebody over there. That's their section, not mine. Oh, God. Your borders are that close? And she looks and she goes, we seriously just jumped over it and we stopped. <laughs> like, she was just like, we just jumped over it and we stopped. So, yes? <laughs> well, if you take a left, you're really screwed. I can't help you. <laughs> God, what did I get myself into? <laughs> So, okay, okay, now back to the other group. <laughs> as you're heading to the brothel, as I figured. Now the other group. As you're walking, as you're being escorted away. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. No, I made it. It's okay. <laughs> escorted away. These guys, and they're not aggressive to you guys at all. They're just like, yeah, just don't cross that line. I mean, if you guys go further down and he's pointing like general direction <laughs> south, you'll see some purple flags. If you cross over there, we're sorry if you get punched in the face. <laughs> All we're gonna say. They're a little bit easier to deal with, but we don't like to mess with them if we don't have to. But what are you guys doing in this town anyway? No one comes here unless they have to. I I don't out of character I don't remember why we came here. You have to find information about the amulet that you found. Yes. Oh yeah. I've come with seeking information about this. And you you pull it up and they're like, oh yeah, you don't want to go to the church. But looking at you, you might want to go that way. Because the church might shun you. And he's pulling the like, general direction south. They may be able to help you. <laughs> but if you guys need to rest or anything, um, if you go down there, hang a lot of way, about a right or left. And he's like generally looking. He's like, think renovations. Everything's getting moved. I swear. If you guys start hearing a band playing, you're heading the right direction. <laughs> And okay, that it. Trust me. Giant building. Okay. Guess we'll head that way. Okay. Okay. You guys head there. Pretty easy to find. Once you guys get to that section, the how he said possibly left <laughs> is completely blocked off. <laughs> like, he was like, oh, I can't remember if we're doing construction there or not. Uh, Sorry, you guys that's probably gonna go right. A giant building in the middle of the town. <laughs> and because you guys do find your friend that standing outside of the big old how big old building that you have no idea what it is because they didn't say. But Akita is standing outside waiting as she sees you guys come up. Like, oh hi. Hello. Um. So that was fun. Yeah, a little bit. Want to investigate further? Sure. Okay. Okay. So we're actually going to call it here tonight. It's almost midnight. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting late. Okay, so we'll pick this up next Wednesday and hopefully get to what I had planned out for tonight. <laughs> right. I mean, the world of a DM. Uh, yes, pretty much. But it's all good. <laughs> awesome. I'll see y'all later. I right, see ya. Bye, Bye guys. Later.